Hi guys, back here with the M103 failure that I've been trying to resolve. So in the last video you saw I took took the wheel fully apart, looked at, took the control board apart to some degree, couldn't find any evidence of a failure. So I thought it was a quote silent failure in the control board. Um, but I've been convinced recently to to uh, take a close look at the battery. And I gotta admit, I never actually measured the voltage from the battery. I just really, I just assumed it was a control board. You know, why would I think that the battery would fail? But I have some theories on why it failed. So I have my meter hooked up to these clips, which are hooked up to um, the connector from the battery and nothing. But before I disassembled the battery, I was, uh, when I moved the battery sometimes or squeezed it in a certain way, I'd get 80, 80 volts, which I think was about the charge, the charge of this pack. So I thought, hmm, uh, flaky connector or cables, which doesn't make me feel confident. Very good, considering if you're riding on a wheel. Oh, and by the way, I want to say that uh, this battery pack in the M103 comes in this plastic shell, which is actually pretty nice enclosure. But getting these this battery out of here was a pain in the butt because it barely fits in here, and then they have double-sided tape. Uh, uh, boy, it took me about an hour to, to pry these two pieces off. My my fingers are raw now. But I opened, uh, so I took it out. Still nothing, so I've been slowly ripping off, take, you know, deconstructing this. And uh, let me uh, let me get a closer view and show you what I found. Okay, here's a better view of the battery pack opened up, and uh, you can see that there's, I guess you could say, two modules within this battery pack, two rows of cells connected here two rows over here and then these two uh, rows are, are joined together by this uh, thin uh, piece of uh, metal. What, however, whatever mechanism they use to join cells, they have that same uh, thin sheet of metal that's joining these two packs together in series. Uh, so let's take a closer look at that. Okay, so here, yeah, I think you can see what's happening. Uh, this strip just got uh, burned away. And uh, so I think, I think what it is, is this is an 84 volt wheel, the M103, very powerful, um, 800 watt motor. And they have all the currents coming from this one uh, battery pack and the design of the battery pack is not compatible with uh, the power of the wheel. So you can get in, in a situation where so much current is flowing out of this battery pack, the MOSFETs can handle that power, but uh, this is a weak link. So it's like a fuse, just burned through. And uh, let me show you another view. Okay, so hopefully maybe you can see that there's burned, dark, darkened mark, marks. I'm not sure if you could say it burned. I, by the way, I can, I can smell a slight sense of burning, but I don't know if that's from this. Uh, so down here, I, you know, did, did definitely black marks on the, the plastic and uh, this separator panel. But I, I don't know if that's from cell damage or all just from this going up in a puff of smoke, this metal. Uh, you know, I, I just don't know what's involved in taking this battery pack further apart. And if I, I'm tempted to experiment to see if I can rejoin these back together. If I, if I just uh, join this like this, I get 80 volts out of the out of the battery pack, but I, I don't have a way of knowing whether one or more cells 
are bad other than potentially connecting up to a charger, I guess, and see if, I guess if it charges up to 84 volts, would that mean all my cells are good? So I'm open to uh, opinions here on whether it's worth trying to save this battery pack or uh, call it a done deal, in which case it might be getting cheaper just to buy a new M10-3, which is a bummer. But definitely I think Gotway is not designed this as a system. Uh, this is a weak link. If anything, the MOSFET should be a weak link since this battery pack costs probably three times as much as the control board.